Hello, my name's James, and I'm going to lead us in prayer. Dear loving Father, thank you for revealing your great love to us. Father, without you, we are weak. Sorry that we find it so hard to change our stubborn ways. Forgive us for the ways that we have wronged you through thought, word and actions this week. Thank you that you are our strong and certain refuge. Thank you that you have removed the punishment that should have been ours through the death of Jesus. Strengthen our faith in you each day. Give us the courage to live lives that appear radical to the ways of the world. Give us a radical dependence on you that makes it obvious that we are fully devoted to you. May you be obvious in our lives. God, when people see the lives of Christians in our church, may they be an example of what you are like. We pray this for your glory. May you be worshipped in all the earth. Uplift our hearts and minds to you today as we seek to give you honour and glory. Make us especially mindful of the well-being of others at this time. May our actions not be self-seeking, but display the love of Jesus. Make us agents of your love and peace at this time. Thank you that the leaders of our nation are making decisions to save lives despite the enormous financial cost. Continue to give them wisdom as they navigate the uncertain weeks and months ahead. Thank you that you are a God who has everything under control. Nothing is a surprise to you. We humbly approach you and ask for mercy on our world. We pray for a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic and that you would use this time to draw a great harvest of people into your kingdom. We are especially concerned for those most vulnerable to developing a severe illness. We pray for the elderly and those in countries with ill-equipped health care. Please protect them. We pray for the sick amongst our community, for those grieving the death of John and Sharon's nephew Tim. We pray that they would cry out to God at this difficult time and find Jesus. For those recovering from surgery and illness, we think of Sue Pierce's grandmother Jean, Bob and Nancy Moore, Barbara Dafter, Josh Taylor's grandmother, and others that come to each of our minds. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Amen.